Hi everyone and happy Halloween. So I hope you've all had a nice Halloween. Um, so the old name for Halloween is Salwin. So obviously it's not called that anymore. We Everybody calls it um, Halloween. But obviously it is celebrated differently all around the world. So let me remove my hat and then you can see me properly. So obviously Halloween is thousands and thousands of years old and has been celebrated for that many years through different traditions, uh, different celebrations, different colourings and all things like that um, in all different parts of the world. So obviously here we go for quite dark colours um, but um, in other places that do, do celebrate, so Mexico celebrate Day of the Dead so by my makeup they are nice bright colours and it's more of a party and a celebration of everything and all the family that have passed away in the past. So two traditions that we always, everywhere in the world uses are jack-o'-lanterns. So I have my pumpkin here that I've carved, but I also have two more jack-o'-lanterns behind me. So one is a swede and the other is a potato and I'll go in more detail into why I've done the two different vegetables um, shortly. So first of all trick or treating. Everybody loves a bit of trick or treating. But one of the stories that is the basis of trick or treating is that poor people would go and beg the, the rich and wealthier people for something called soul cakes. And they're quite like an Eccles cake um, that we have nowadays. Um, and then the person that was poor and that had been given the soul cake would then go and say a prayer for the person that had given them the, the soul cake and or the food. Um, it was thought that the more people that prayed for that one person, um, the more likely they were to go to heaven. Um, so that is that's the kind of the basis story of trick or treating. So the story of the jack o' lantern. So let's move my pumpkin to the one side, and I'll bring my other two over. So here is my potato. If he wants to stand up. Just lean him against my pumpkin. There we go. And here is my Swede. So the story of the jack-o'-lantern is obviously very, very old. Um, and it is thought that the story that I've always been told of why they're called jack-o'-lanterns is because years and years and years ago there was um, a man probably about my age so about 20 mid-20s and he was a bit of a trickster and pulled pranks on everybody he could think of one day he played a trick and a prank on the devil um, and there are different versions of this story um, but he got the devil to climb up a tree. Um, why wouldn't he? You know, they were maybe mucking around, playing. Um, so Jack got the devil to climb a tree. And then Jack put uh, iron crosses all over the floor and carved a cross in the tree. So the devil couldn't get down because obviously the devil cannot touch iron. Um... Not that chuffed with crosses either. He wasn't exactly that chuffed with crosses either. Um, so when Jack passed away, um, the devil didn't want him. Um, and obviously Jack hadn't been exactly a, exactly a very nice person. So God didn't want him either. Um, so what were they to do with him? He couldn't go to heaven, he couldn't go to hell. Neither, neither of them wanted him. So they trapped Jack in a, in a lantern, in a jack-o'-lantern. So at that time, um, Swede first. It was a Swede. It was a Swede first. Um, but obviously, maybe they're, they're not exactly easy to carve. They're quite. They're quite hard. Um, so they trapped Jack's Jack in a, in a, in a Swede, and um, that was where Jack was to stay. So the light that we put inside our jack o' lanterns is meant to represent Jack himself. So obviously lots of different places have changed this story and have different versions of this story. So this is where the potato comes in. 
Um, because maybe Swedes weren't exactly readily available and easily to get. So maybe potatoes were. Um, so that is why I've done a potato as well. Again, fairly easy to carve, but you don't get them very big. And obviously, then we have our pumpkin, which everybody carves every year. Um, fairly easy to carve and can get quite nice big ones. So everywhere has a different story of version of that story. That is the one that I was brought up uh, being told and that is the one that I, I'm telling you. Um, so tonight, if you do go out, it is a full moon. Um, it's the second full moon in one month, which makes it a blue moon, which makes it quite, quite special um, for a blue moon to fall on Halloween. And that is it for this week. Um, I have posted um, a scavenger hunt, treasure hunt, on my Facebook page and Instagram page. So that is Goth Beaver Leader Star. Um, and there is also a Halloween prize bingo as well that I've posted. Um, so you are welcome to use the sheets. Um, they are there and easy for, your, for you to download and save. So that is Instagram and Facebook. That is Goth Beaver Leader Star. Hope you all have a nice Halloween. Spider. And I will end this video on a little folks, um, folks tale of if you see a spider today or tonight um, on Halloween, it is said that it is one of your ancestors um, come back to have, have a check in with you, see if you're okay. So be gentle if you see a spider today, tonight. Um, say hello and let him go, go him or her on their way. So always be gentle to spiders because you never know who it might be. Happy Halloween guys.